Hi, welcome, welcome, welcome. Guess what? Guess what? This is gonna be for my little gummy boss. My little gummy boss. I just love my gummy boss. Who doesn't love gummy bears? Probably plenty of people. <laughs> this could be what I love, alright? Now until September 9th, alright? 10th, give or take a few days. Um, the 9th might be significant for you because I just did that in another video too. I don't know what the 9th is. It's either a full moon or a new moon. I mean, not a full moon or a new moon. It's either a new moon or the first quarter moon. So, apparently that's significant to you guys, okay? Something that day or right around there is going to take place, okay? And that's a beautiful thing. Who doesn't like new? Who doesn't like new? Are you my gummy bears soul searching right now? You'd be the first ones. You'd be the first ones out of all my damn zodiacs. You're my last zodiac, all right? I don't know why. I don't know why. If you guys give me a hard time, I'm not going to be happy with you. All right? So, this is going to be a very intuitive read, channel messages, that kind of stuff. I'm going to tell you how I feel. Um, the cards that I'm working with, that one to flip right off the bat, the hangman, all right? So, was, we're not necessarily soul searching right this second, but you need to change your perspective when it comes to something. It was, or our perspective has changed because of this full moon. A lot of people are dealing with this whole full moon uh, energy type thing. Um, hold up a minute. Um, I just wanted to write something down, so I'm going to do a live after this, and I want to bring up a couple things. Um, and I'm going to bring this up, too. Um, but you need to um, change your perspective when it comes to something. The full moon energy right now, it's, it's Virgo, but people are kind of looking at the negative aspect of things, and you hung up. The universe hung you up, okay? Um, but I think to study. Something spiritual. I need you to reread something. And I know, and I know, oh, what I was saying about the cards, a very intuitive read. The only ones that have images of the ma major arcana, I'll show you as needed, okay? But to, the reason why I think you need to go in and do something again, reread, study, and not, you know, picking up on something, like look at it a little closer. Um, I know it's, it's repetitive and right now you're feeling like you're drained you're drained trying to figure this out um and it's not your next step but it's 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 draining give yourself some time give yourself some space whatever this is give yourself have patience on you see open up that antidote I don't know. I don't think it's magic. It's something. You're studying something and you're trying to figure something out. See, it, I'm telling you. It's spiritual. You're like, I got to do it all again. I'm telling you. It might be magic. Some of my gummy bears might be playing with magic. Universal magic, though, not in a bad way. Okay. Um, what's the damn word I'm looking for? You're tired of... of of, of studying. You're not tired of studying. You're tired, you're tired of going through the same book, flipping the same pages, trying to find the answer you're not finding. What is that word? It begins with an I. And it's not repetitive. You got the Ace of Swords reversed. So it's like, see, I don't think you're being, I don't think you feel like you're being lied to. Maybe in some cases you are, okay? And you're not seeing it, okay? And you haven't been seeing it for a long time. So that's you being naive. But back to the whole studying thing, because it's strong, so strong. Don't give up. Don't think you can't speak the truth. Don't think you can't expose something. I mean it. And for others, you're hung up because somebody's lying to you. And you've been waiting for somebody for a very long time to speak the truth. But the universe is saying, like, snap out of it. You know what I mean? You've been waiting that long for somebody to speak the truth. Like, you're dealing with an emperor energy, okay? An emperor could be honest, runs a business, has their shit together, know what they're doing, but this person does not know anything about emotions, okay? Like, they don't know how to speak them, how to act them. I don't see if you're going to go into business. Maybe you're thinking about going into business, right? See, that would be the ninth with the crescent moon, all right? And now you got the wheel of fortune, so something going in your direction, all right? This is major arcana. That's why there's a picture on here. But 
see that crescent moon or the new moon. So I'm telling you, that nine, that nine is big for you right now. The number nine. For September 9th, that would be 9-9. Nine, nine. Nine nine uh, two thousand and eighteen eight nine ten eleven seven eighteen nine two twenty nine nine ten eleven be right back to an eleven which would be a two. This is going to set you on your path, your new direction. I think, and, and this is a fortunate time for you to take your next step to take this path. Do you understand me? If you don't, you'd be very foolish. But you're still trying to figure it out. Give yourself time. Have a little patience. Repetitive? Nah, I keep saying repetitive. It's not that word. It begins with an ah. Uh. You got the ace of cups reversed. Um, you're not feeling the love from somebody, or you don't have enough self love, enough self confidence. You know, it's something, okay? But you have it, so pull it together. Tell me about this ace of cups, all right? Well, that's way too many. Hello. Tell me about this ace of cups. This deck wants to talk, my little gummy bear. Um, this is very, um, whoa, 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 nope, um, tell me about this ace of cups, ace of cups, we have two aces right here and they're both reversed, all right, with the seven of pence reversed, so this is talked about invested time, you think it's not going to come into fruition, like there's no love, but this is a fortunate time, something's going to happen, so if, I'm going to put the studies aside, okay, this is you being hung up because somebody lied to you, all right, and you, it took a long time for you to get out of this energy, or it's saying this moon, and it, this moon, this energy itself that just passed, it is holding you up because you're not seeing something when it comes to this emperor, this man in your life, but it was something that was supposed to happen when it happens, okay, you either need more self-love for yourself, or this is saying, you know, this person's been lying about how they're feeling and you just think something's not going to come into fruition and you're starting to doubt a lot of things. But I'm telling you, somebody, you guys are going to see something by the time of this new moon comes around or this crescent moon. So it's either going to be the 9th or the 16th, all right, the high priestess. So to me, this is, this is not tricky shit. It's saying, use your damn intuition, okay? Like, there's, this is knowledge. This is spiritual knowledge too, okay? So now it's taking me back to the whole working Thing, or this is just saying, you know, use your intuition when it comes to what's next with this path. And you got the sun reversed, so you're not, okay? So to me, this is saying you're not getting clarity. There's still secrets. There's a secret here. But I'm not looking at this secret as a bad thing. Tell me about the high priestess. All right, see the star and the three of cups. So this is two threes. There could have been something tricky because the star again was reversed. And to me, this is not about having faith, even though I said that. The star in this particular deck, to me, talks about a third party or an Aquarian. Um, but there was some tricky shit. This is not talking about a reconciliation. This is tricky. So there's definitely a secret when it comes to something. And when it gets exposed, you know, you're not going to be too happy um, about this clarity. All right, um, or this is something that's already happened with the nine of wands reversed, but nobody's taking action with the seven of subs. This is karma. It has to come back around. I have two different reads on the board, guys, so if this is confusing to you, I'm super sorry, okay? this One of these reads has to do with schooling and starting a business and going in a different direction, and I'm telling you, by the t you're going to have the answers you're looking for by either the 9th or the 16th. Okay, for another situation here, we have you're being hung up because you're not seeing something because there's some tricky shit. There's some tricky shit going on, and it's karma, and there is a third party, and that's why somebody's not taking action. Okay, so two different stories here for my gummy bears. So let me continue with the tricky shit. Tell me about the three of swords, please. I mean the three of uh, cups, please. And then I'll go back to something else. I don't know what that damn word is with the damn ah. Uh. Not a ritual. All right. The Queen of Swords. Yeah. With the stock. Cut this shit out of your life. I'm going to wrap this one up. Those dealing with the third party, this is straight up karma. Wrap it up. This person's lying to you. And there's still secrets that are not being exposed. I do feel like something is about to be exposed because it's karma. So you are going to find out something. Tell me about the Queen of Swords. But to me, the universe is saying wrap it up. Okay. For those in a third party, wrap it up. Not a good scenario. The hermit reversed, all right? So 
this person you're dealing with doesn't even want to soul search, all right? This person is bored. Five of Wands, you know, this, this conflict, all right? With a death card, there was a breakup. Have strength, all right? Have strength to move on. It's over, okay? Like, it, it's done, all right? Have strength to, to move forward, right? Tell me about, I'm like, right? Tell me about strength. Tell me about strength, please. Tell me the universe is saying, cut it out of your life and move forward. Be the beast. Be the beast. That's too many. But that, that one of them was the higher font reversed, all right? Queen of, Wands, Queen of Wands reversed with the Knight of Wands. So this is somebody that was in and out of your life, in and out. Yeah, but there's a connection there, but yeah, but there was also some tricky shit. There was temptation, all right? Definitely cut the freaking cat and mouse game out, okay? That's done. For those that want a third party, wrap it up, okay? So now those who are in school, or not in school, doing your own knowledge, your own your own thing right now that's spiritual, okay? Something you're studying. You're not you're not getting something and you're you're tired. You're like, damn, how many times do I gotta go over this book over and over and over and over? Some people are dealing with magic, some people are working on spells, okay? Um but to me this talks about this is a very fortunate time. They want you to move forward. Okay, and I know it's repetitive, repetitive and it sucks opening the book and, and going over and over. I feel like people are reading like ancient scripts, okay, or working with esoteric information, scriptures, I'm telling you, okay. Um, and the word's not repetitive, it's, it's, the frig is it? I want to say it starts with an A, ah, okay, but it's like, I want to say you might be studying even rituals, okay. If you're dealing with magic, but that's not the word I'm looking for. Um, what else do you want to tell me about this? All right, judgment. All right, with the fool, you're, you're questioning whether or not you're definitely playing someone, definitely playing on magic, but you're, you're questioning whether or not you can have a new start in this field, this study, this field, whatever it is. It's, it's definitely spiritual. There's no questions, hands down. This is a spiritual, spiritual thing. And when I looked, it was one, two, okay, one, two, three, something. All right, so, so move forward. All right. Um, you have the two of cups next to that. So I don't know if you're working on this with a connection with a partner, with um, a contract. All right. Um, with the six of pence. So to me, you're about to, if you, with the magician, that's very spiritual. You're about to, if you have a partner, if you're thinking about adding somebody to this or working with somebody and collaborating, it might be more beneficial for you. And it was just 12, 12 after I just said it might be more beneficial for you. So I'm going to pull a different deck of cards. So please go look at 12, 12 is because if it talks about partnering up with somebody and collaborating on something, you might want to do it. So like I said, go Google 12, 12. All right. Let's see if I can pull any other messages from my gummy bears with a different deck. Repetitive. That's it. You feel like it's repetitive. It's okay. Stick with it. You're gonna figure it out. Thought I figured that out. All right. That would have that would have drawn me freaking ape shit. All right. So it's it's very repetitive to you, but um, stick with it. Do you understand me? Don't get discouraged. All right. So you have the sun. All right. This talks about growth possibilities. Um, shining. You know what I mean? We have the eight of cups. You know. So you have to. Uh, did you walk away from a Leo with a three of wands? It was some tricky shit. So this is talking about the tricky shit. I think some of you were dealing with a straight up Leo. Some of you got pregnant. Somebody walked away from you. Uh, we do have a same sex situation here. Somebody walked away from somebody because of the moon energy and somebody could have possibly chose a different family. I'm not really sure, but there was definitely, you're not looking towards your future. You're not looking towards the sun. Okay. The sun is in front of you. Open your eyes. This is what it's telling me. Open your eyes walk towards your happy, okay, it's not talking about clarity here, this is, open your eyes, be grateful for what it is you have, okay, we have the emperor, this is not like a run-on story, this is, I'm pulling, okay, I'm just, it's messages too, guys, channel messages, what I'm feeling, okay, um, with the nine of wands, so it's like, I don't know if this person, this emperor is definitely not sharing their feelings, but you're definitely got it. All right, with the six of pence, you definitely probably gave more than this other person for this scenario, you know what I mean? Like, you're looking at the emperor and you're like, why the F are you so guarded? Why can't you tell me how you feel? Like, what is this? Like, I've been giving you so much, you know, time, effort, 
I've dedicated things and you've just taken advantage of me. Okay. That's for that scenario. It's all the same scenario. Walk away from it. Okay. They really want you to walk away from it. Like, I know it's a shit ass scenario and this woman's sad too. Okay. And she's holding a toddler. But it, there was definitely a third party. Like, there's no light at the end of the tunnel here. You know what I mean? Like, but you have to snap out of that yourself, my little gummy bears, for this scenario. Okay. For this particular read. All right, with the three of swords. Yeah, this person definitely broke your heart. And what is reversed? That's not it. And you're sad, okay? And you're broken hearted. And I, I'm sorry because you're dealing with the Knight of Kings that's not putting effort into nothing right now, okay? Um, and you're heartbroken. And I'm sorry. This could have happened a while ago, too, or you're waiting for this person to. to to tell you how they feel and stuff. And this person is not going to tell you how they feel. This person's arrogant. Tell me about this emperor. Um, yeah, arrogant, but I don't, I don't see ill intent. I just think it just was, went down the way it was supposed to go down with the page of swords here. So it's kind of like, you're just dealing with somebody who's a little immature, but older. Okay. But immature for their age, even though they're older, they act immature. Um, and I think you're done fighting. I think you're done battling it out with this person. Um, the hangman reversed at this point. So yeah, you're, you're about to come out of the hangman mode. So the universe hold you up, held you up for you to see something. Um, you're going to see it. You're going to get the clarity you need. You really truly will. And I'm sorry, what an ugly scenario for those that are dealing with this and have to walk away. Okay. But you're going to walk away towards something so much better. Okay. Um, and right now you're just feeling this sorrow hard because, should I say I felt dark with you guys or was that something else? I do feel a little dark though, but it's, it's because it's the three of swords and the clouds and you just didn't get your clarity yet, but you will, okay? Um, and it's, remember, it's the full moon energy too, all right, that's got you in this feeling, all right? So try to, try to get out of that, um, okay? So let's, um, I'm going to pull... See if I can get any additional messages with this deck real quick. And then I'm going to pull your lessons. This is very straightforward considering I had two different stories. Okay. And if it's not a business and you're just being held up, you're still going to find something out by the, the new moon or the present moon. All right. So new stories for my gummy bears. So you got the five of wands reverse. So you're coming out of conflict. You, you definitely will come out of conflict when it comes to whatever it is you invested time into. Okay. It might be coming out of it yourself, not not needing somebody else to help you get out of this conflict. Okay. Um, Knight of wands reverse. So this was somebody who was in and out, in and out, in and out, but doesn't want to be in and out, in and out anymore. Or this is you saying that you're not going to allow this person to be in and out, in and out, in and out no more anyway. You're not, see the chariot reverse, so you're not taking action. You're not moving forward with this either. You got the star reverse, so either you're dealing with an Aquarian or you just don't have faith when it comes to the situation anymore. And it's definitely, you know, your past, but it's also saying move forward, gain your own stability. Go, you know, like with the six of cups and the ten of pence, you could have had a family with this person, but um, you're going to get your stability back, I promise you. You just have to get yourself out of this energy yourself, okay? Let's play your lessons. Everything's so straightforward. It's not going to give me a new story, so I don't want to just drag on about the same scenario because it's unfortunate, you know? But some of you guys are being very indecisive, but that's what I'm saying. You're in the Virgo moon negative aspect of it. It's the energy right now. Give it a little while, okay? And um, you'll get yourself out of it, I promise, okay? All right, forgiveness. I am harboring resentment that's blocking the flow of love, okay? So even if you were to move forward, so you probably can't forgive certain people too, but if you're going to move forward, if you're going to hold on to this, you're going to self-sabotage your future relationships, okay? I need you to get your um, self-confidence back in order to step forward. All right, we got failure. I understand that a mistake is only an opportunity to learn. So right now, you're just not looking at it like that because you're harboring resentment. You're pissed off. You're angry. You got lack of confidence right now. Your soul can't grow when it's like that, okay? It's a lesson right now for you to pick yourself up, to, to know that it's okay, that things don't work out. And sometimes you feel like a failure, but you're really not failing, okay? I mean, it, the situation could have failed, but it doesn't mean you failed. 
it looks like you put a lot of effort into something and the other person didn't, okay? So it was just part of a lesson, okay? Forgive yourself, forgive the other person so you don't have this shit, okay? Um, let it go. You're in the energy to let it go, so let it go, okay? Let it go. So when this new moon steps in, um, to the 9th or the 16th, you can have something brand new, all right? Whether it's self-love, new love, you know, I'm telling you, um, it can be pretty positive, even if you're opening a business something, you know what I mean? And gratitude. So I got some gummies at fears on my board right now that are not thankful for what it is they have, all right? And I did not see that at all. So you take that as is, but you, to me, this is saying appreciate life, appreciate things around you, appreciate the damn trees, all right? Stop dwelling on something that didn't appreciate you. It was part of your lesson to stand up for yourself and to walk away from somebody who didn't appreciate you. Okay? You're fearing moving forward. I realize I'm testing the resolve to live in the energy of love. It's like, you want me to love again? You want me to do this? Like, how I've been hurt? But you know what I mean? Like, go stop man manifesting stuff. You can do it. Yeah, see, there's definitely trust issues here. All right, listen to your inner voice. Listen, listen to your guides. Listen, listen to your intuition, guys. All right, you know it's no good scenario. This person, like I said, had no appreciation for you, which is very unfortunate. A very unfortunate situation. I'm very, very sorry. That sucks. Okay, but there's bigger and better things um, coming your way. So try to work it out. Okay, um, it's not really mental, it's more emotional, so try to work it out and try to get past it and try to work on you and heal and go outside, get fresh air, hang out with friends, do something new that you don't normally do, put music on, you know what I mean? Like, switch your energy up the best you can, don't, don't stay, don't stay in that, okay? It's not good for you. So, and then, you know, others, you know, you, you got this whole business thing too. You know, and I understand it can be frustrating, pretty frustrating because it's super, you know, repetitive and, you know, it's it's frustrating, but um, you're going to be okay. You pulled obedience, okay? Um, to me, that speaks a lot, too. I didn't see law come up in your read. So this is throwing me off, but I guarantee you guys are going to know what this means because it's your read, okay? I'm not meant to know everything. There are some rules that, you know, that apply for everything. The sun rises and the moon sets and they dance together in perfect harmony. All right. So that's the moon and the sun. So that's what I'm saying. Like you're in moon energy and you're about to have the sun. Like how many, I don't, you, I can't even tell you how many times the sun card came out for you guys. Okay. Like you're going to have that clarity. You're going to have growth. It's just getting yourself out of this particular scenario that you feel hung up in. Okay. It's, it's pulling yourself out, please. What rules are you considering? What rules are you considering when you ask yourself a question? You will be sorry if you wanted to break the rules that's in place to protect you or another. Even though you may not feel like you want to listen to the authority right now, it is time to obey that it has already been set in motion. This is a time to learn the lay of the land and follow the customs that keep your things in order. Learn the steps of the dance before you attempt to change them to suit you. Okay, so you're trying to change somebody you can't change, okay, is what it's saying. And it's also saying, you know, it's already been set into motion, meaning... The divine, it was, everything happened the way it was supposed to happen. So if you want to get out of the whole spirituality thing, you probably can't because you're meant and destined to go that route, okay? And maybe you want to give up because it's so damn repetitive and you're, you're getting frustrated, but you're going to figure it out, I promise you. Just open that book again and stick to it, okay? Be disciplined, all right? Be a, a, obedient to yourself, you know? Like, set it into motion, okay? It's coming, I promise you. Um, but, you know, don't don't attempt to change somebody, all right? Don't, don't do that, all right? you'll be sorry okay so i don't know what you're trying to considering what you're trying to consider i don't know if you're trying to control something you know you got to let things happen naturally right now they're, they're saying walk away from this let it go um from the third party scenario if you're dealing with the third party all right it was the way stuff was supposed to go down um you might be dealing with somebody who's a different ethnic a different religion it's, it's something too all right but you know there's rules and to me, it's, it's talking about karma, too, all right? And it's set in the place, and the sun rises and the moon sets, and they, they dance together in perfect steps, okay? So even though you're a little bit in the dark energy, the, the light energy is about to shine soon, all right? Um, just stay positive, all right? And I know it's hard when you're in that, but 
they're asking you to stay positive if you want to see a better outcome, okay? Um, this to me is also balancing out the scales that were uneven, something being justified and, and cutting out shit that no longer serves you too and, and staying obedient and staying disciplined, okay? I wish you the very best. I love you guys. Bye, my little gumma bias.